Reyes. If you're alive. Commander, are you all right? Uh, things got pretty bad. I thought I'd seen everything, but I still managed to surprise me. <clears throat> what the hell is that thing? This? It's a long story. Vulcan's coming for the extraction. I recovered... this. You managed to get hold of it? Don't act so surprised. On the contrary, that's why you're here. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Well done. The storm is getting worse. Can you walk? Sir! You were in Iraq, weren't you, Reyes? Yes, sir. So, you know that sometimes it's necessary to burn an oil well in order to avoid it falling into enemy hands. I've known Gora since 83. He was a hot-headed kid. He had already made a name for himself through his dedication, his initiative. But people like us, Reyes, we understand that whoever looks to war as a solution ends up being consumed by it. Was he the one that wounded you? Yeah. I tried to stop, but <laughs> that kid has what it takes. He's always had it. Listen, Gora has no intention of reporting to the president. He only believes in himself now. If the research ends up in his hands, God only knows who will get hold of it. With all due respect, sir, to hell with Gora. Let's get that out of here as soon as possible. This is far from over. I have other orders. Do you know where this comes from? Down there is one of the most advanced experimentation centers on the planet. They call it the castle. It stretches miles underground. Operation Sandcastle was launched to stop Section 8 finding it. But I failed. Why didn't you tell us anything? Do you have any idea how important this is? We're talking about the most dangerous technology on the face of the Earth. I had my suspicions. Reyes, think. Look around you. That data can't be allowed to leave here. We have to reach the depths of the laboratory before Gora does and destroy it forever. Those are my orders. But maybe we can... That server must be destroyed, Reyes. Or the whole world will burn. You have to understand. The Department of Defense can't trust anyone with this. Not even Hades. Earlier, I found a dead Hades agent. He was wearing this. Then you know, there must be Hades operatives outside my command. It was someone I'd never seen before. There must be infiltrators. I don't know who's commanding. Where's Radic? Exactly where you left him. He's wounded. He couldn't carry on. Where I left him? <laughs> he was the one who left me. What? In the middle of the fight with Section 8. Ah. Uh, Apparently, Radic also has a price. That's not possible. I know Radic. He can't have betrayed us. Ah, so where the hell did he go? That's always been your weak spot, Reyes. Presuming you know better. I locked him in, in a warehouse. I checked his position not long ago. Ah, great. But I doubt he's still there. We'll have to watch out for him, too. It's just the two of us now. There's no time to waste. You'll have to complete the mission in my place. You can reach the underground facility through this ventilation shaft. I'll make sure the briefcase gets out in one piece. Then we'll go back to retrieve Radic. The Major owes us an explanation. That scientist, he was babbling about 
matter transfer experiments. Basically a teleporter. Do you know anything about that? What are those creatures, sir? That's just the tip of the iceberg, kid. Down there... There's so much more. And it needs to stay there. Commander, enough with the ambiguity. I'm ready to do what it takes, but I need to know what I'm heading into. Listen, I don't have the full picture. That technology originated... <laughs> Come in. Please, where are you? I'm still hovering in one of those hours. There's no time left. I can't land in these conditions. Vulcan, listen to me. Foster is dead. What? What the fuck are you saying? What happened? They shot him right in front of me. That's impossible. Fuck. Who was it? I don't know. Vulcan, the situation is far worse than we could have imagined. Foster gave me one last order. I have to go down. I'm so screwed.
going on? abandoned for years.
Jeez, this place smells like shit.
can't be. Who the hell are you? That suit. Are you in Hades? Your questions will not beget the answers you seek. But you're right. The shadow of our Lord Hades is rapidly spreading over this place. So the time has come for us Hades to make a choice. Look, I've had enough of your bullshit. What kind of game are you playing in this goddamn asylum? It's fucking absurd. What did you do to me in that room? better answer, or else... Or else what? You forget that I just saved your life. This is not the time for answers. Now follow me, and when you are ready, you will understand. It even has its own transportation system. How big is this place? Hey, you... Aptum. You can call me Aptum. What the fuck? Tell me where we're going then, Aptum. Impatience is clouding your mind. At the end of this glorious day, you will thank me. Prepare yourself for what is to come. Yeah, sure. Enough already. Tell me where we are. Home. I'm sick of your bullshit. Like, fuck, I'll follow you in there. What do you want from me? Do you know Roddick? <laughs> hey, are you with me? <sighs> you still don't understand. Don't take another step. <laughs> Did you think? I didn't know. You are not worthy to carry it. None of us are. Rest now. Don't you recognize me? It's me. No. You're not real. We are here. Look at me. I know you hate me. Stop it. Leave me alone. That's so you. Just like when we were kids. You close yourself away and won't let me reach out to you. But I always was there for you. And I still am. That's not true. You abandoned me. That wasn't what I wanted. E everyone said you were dead. I kept looking for you, and here we are. I've been waiting for you, Reis. Don't call me that. Stop. Get away. You must be important if you 
brought you here instead of just killing you. The door's open. Come on, when you're ready. Strange. He must trust you. Maybe it's because of your uniform. Huh. Did he find a new girlfriend? Shh, be quiet. Under normal circumstances, Hades aren't welcome here. But Aptum has always helped us out, so we'll make an exception for his sake. And you might have your uses as well. Fuck you. Leave me alone. Watch your... Finally. I can hear him. It was all so confusing. But now... I hear his call. Oh, it's so clear. Oh, thank God I stopped taking those damn pills. This is our new home. Our sanctuary. And now, United is one. We'll finally be able to offer him the sucker he so desperately needs. Ow. We see and hear everything. We've been locked up in here for so long. As our guest, you should show some humility. She should leave, right? Do you want to go? No, doctor. Then be quiet. Come and join us, my dear Hades. could let you out whenever I want. I just need a little convincing. Okay. Let's say I believe you. What do you want in return? I've got news for you. We're short of oxygen. We need to reactivate the ventilation system before we all move on to a better life. We tried praying, but that didn't work. Uh. So much for being in total control. Touché. Anyway, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. You'll have to get to the technical area. We tried before, but uh, nobody made it back. Now we've run out of volunteers. But don't worry. I'll guide you. I guess I don't have a choice. Hmm, that was easier than I anticipated. The Hades I remember were a little less... compliant. Are you sure you're alright? Do you want my help or not? The main entrance to the maintenance area is blocked. You can't get in from there. Go to the cells in Block B to gain access to the lower levels. You'll find an alternative entrance point there. And then, you'll be able to restart the ventilation system. Why don't you know? Another blocked doorway.
That big door, on the other hand, is the one I'll be opening to let you out. Maybe. <laughs> I know you're judging us. But before all this, oh, back then, everything was perfect. We at U.S. Progress have lived through incredible times. We had a dream. The Abyss Scan Program. I was responsible for one of the most innovative research projects in history. Until you people turned up. We refused to do your dirty work. To sacrifice human lives. To transfer matter at any cost. So many innocent souls. So much unimaginable pain. We refused to cooperate. And they locked us up. But they paid for it. A seismic shockwave, and then those beings arrived. By the way, have you noticed those electrical devices scattered around? They're for isolating electromagnetic fields. It's the only way to keep them at bay. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Where was I? The Abyss Scan Program. Never heard of it. One thing at a time.
didn't work. Doctor, can you hear me? Ventilation system has started working again. Incredible. You saved us. You can't be Hades. Cut the crap. You owe me an explanation. You've earned our trust, dear. Join us. We have much to discuss.
meat purification will take a few more minutes. You'd better keep that mask on until it's finished. You promised me an explanation. And you'll get one. You've earned it. Then let's start with those abominations you created. We didn't create a damn thing. We were the global elite of scientific research. Too bad about the Nobel Prize. Maybe next time? Ha! Do you understand what you've done? Do you think I don't know? This is why we're in the sanctuary now. We have to serve our sentence. While you serve your sentence, the risk of these things getting out is too damn high. You don't understand. That's not the point. So tell me. Uh, it's a long story. It all started in the 1950s, when U.S. Progress was running the Abyss Scan program. Before you were born, we were already building your future for the progress of humanity. Enough with the history lesson. What were you looking for? Life, of course. Organic life forms that had never been classified. A gold mine of genetic and biochemical research with unbridled potential. That was how we discovered Ram 77, a mysterious new alloy. Wait, you're talking about that strange metal. Strange, you say? I would say, revolutionary. It never registered on our detectors. The government initiated Project Hoax, using it to construct military aircraft capable of going undetected by enemy forces. Aircraft that are invisible to radar. Well, if the Cold War had heated up, they would have come in handy, right? <laughs> so everything in those hangars that was just a facade, my dear girl. We still hadn't understood the true potential of Ram 77. The more we investigated, the more we realized that this alloy would change our understanding of the nature of reality itself. The stakes were rising, and then you turned up. Hexacore. What? Be so surprised. We know the truth. Oh, don't tell me you don't know who you really work for. Hexacore stole everything from us. Hades watched our every move. But we at US Progress are the true pioneers of molecular transfer theory. Without us, those incompetents wouldn't have gotten anywhere. I didn't know anything about it nobody knew some knowledge is best kept hidden from the rest of the world that's why they built an underground city we had to disappear with our families and leave everything to live only for research living underground deep within the earth in the abyss the world would achieve enlightenment through our sacrifice. He sacrificed so much. He still hasn't forgiven us. We did it for him. They forced us. They made us do it. Who? Who are you talking about? We didn't want to. I, I swear, it wasn't our fault. Please, calm down. I just want to understand. You? No. You have condemned us. What? I don't! Shut up! You pay for what you've done! I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, you crazy bitch!
I saw before. Be my way to the castle. It has to be. 